What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a play button or how to have a specific audio play whenever a button is clicked, an icon is clicked, pretty much whatever um, element is clicked, an audio will play. And also whenever they re-click it, it will, um, it will pause. So let me go ahead and show you guys how you can go about doing that. This is gonna be a fairly quick video. That's probably why I'm not using my cam right now. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and do it with this button. So whenever this button is clicked, I want an audio to play. So make sure you're on Elementor and then um, go into your elements and choose, just type in HTML. That's where we're gonna add our um, little code here. And then within this code element, you're gonna go ahead and paste this code. I will provide this down in the description. Okay, so obviously before we can even get this working, we need to go ahead and upload our audio. So um, just go into your, your media library in here and then go ahead and upload your audio. I already have mine uploaded on here. Um, let me go ahead and locate it. I thought I could get it through here, but apparently I cannot. Um, can I actually go in the library? Let me see that. Um, no, I cannot. So let me go ahead and go into my dashboard. And in the media, grab your audio file, click on it, and then in here, Go ahead and grab your file URL for that audio that you uploaded. Make sure that it's an MP3, of course. And then go back into um, Elementor and go into your HTML that we just pasted in. And we're going to go ahead and replace right here where it says source in between um, these quotes here. Go ahead and add the URL. There we go. And then now... Then now we just need to go ahead and add a class to our bun here. So currently, um, my class that I'm that I'm um, targeting is called audio bun. So I'm gonna grab this class. Now you can go ahead and name your class whatever you may like, but I'm just gonna go ahead and um, use this class name here. Now I'm gonna go into my bun and I'm gonna go into uh, advanced and and in my CSS classes, I already, as you can tell, I have the same one. I'm just gonna repaste it in regardless and make sure that it just says audio dash button, whatever class you may want. Um, I mean, you can change this to whatever you would like, whatever class name, you can even do an ID, but an ID will be a little bit different. Um, but for you, those of you that maybe already have an ID, we can just, I can show you how you can do that. So you can just put audio um, BTN as in for bun, right? Just obviously make sure that you remove that, um, that pound sign or that money um, or that number sign. And then let's go back into our HTML and you can just paste that right in here. And then instead of the dot, which is, which is our class, um, we're going to do a, um, a number sign. There we go. And then that will grab the ID. But just for this, this example, we're using a class that's called audio bun. So now that we have the class added to, um, to our bun, we can go ahead and click update. See here. So one thing that I totally forgot to do is um, we need to actually move this HTML element right under it, or I would suggest even moving it to the bottom, but we can have it right under our, our um, element. What, basically, whatever button you have or whatever, um, maybe it's an icon, whatever, just make sure that you have your HTML element under it. Because usually it plays line by line. Um, so, okay. So as you can tell, now when and now that we clicked on it plays, if we click it, it, it uh, pauses, click it again, it plays, right? Um, and it pretty much plays exactly where we left off. So, but just in case, maybe you wanted it to restart um, after, they, um, after they click. So, and they re-click it. You can just, you see this, uh, this code here, just remove these two dashes and then leave that on. And then, so now whenever I click it, I pause it and then I click it again, it's gonna restart. So click it again, music starts. 
and then I paused it. Now if I click it again, it's gonna restart. Now that is just for those of you that do want it to restart, um, but I kind of prefer it not to, it just plays wherever it left off. So um, real quick, let me go ahead and pause this actually. All right, so now really quick here, we're just gonna add it to our other um, elements just to kind of give you an example first of all i need to remove this uh, css class because we're only going to be calling one of them um, and then i'm going to remove my html element i'm going to put it at the bottom just so then it plays no matter what um so just because i do need it to be i need my html element to be under all of this stuff so the first one we're going to do is an icon and i'm going to grab that paste it right in here and then we're just going to add our class now we can look for a play button if we want um so you can even do this one. Now, if we save it here and we uh, we scroll down here and we click on this, see how it will play. And then if we click on it, it will pause. And then we can go ahead and even add this to an image. We just gotta add the class in here to the image. And then it will work the exact same way. We just click on this image and it plays. And then if we just need to remove this class off of this one and then add it to the text, if you wanted to do that, this will be the last thing that I add it to. Um, there's already another one, so I'm just gonna add this one here. It should work, there we go. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys did find it helpful. If you guys did, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll try to help you guys out. Thanks for watching.